Hello, I'm Chris with the Mobile Internet Resource Center here to share with you some news about a thing called FirstNet and how this is going to impact the AT&T network, cellular network nationwide. So first off, what is FirstNet? Well, this actually is an idea that goes all the way back to the attack on the World Trade Center in uh, 2001 when people realized that there was no unified radio system for the police and the fire department and the first responders to actually talk to each other. And that got people thinking is maybe there should be a unified nationwide system works the same instead of 10,000 different public radio networks for, for first responders have one common network. And well, it took a long time coming, but Congress authorized and set aside this dedicated amount of cellular spectrum for this and put out a bid, put out a contract, and last year, AT&T finally won this contract um, to deploy this new service called FirstNet nationwide. And the idea with FirstNet is it'd be based on LTE cellular technology and uh, first responders who have a FirstNet compatible device, phone or tablet, or special custom radios and a FirstNet data plan and SIM card would be able to talk and interact on this first responders network and their service would have priority over all cellular service, all regular cellular customers. Which is really great, great thing for first responders, but how does this impact all the rest of AT&T customers? Well, as part of this contract that AT&T won, they were given 20 megahertz of dedicated cellular spectrum with a nationwide license, so a huge amount of low band cellular spectrum um, to deploy FirstNet on top of, but they're allowed to use it for their other customers. It just the first responders have first priority. So there's AT&T basically got a whole big section of carpool lane to add to their Spectrum superhighway. Just you know, ambulances have priority, of course. Um, so great, there's going to be all this new Spectrum for AT&T customers. And then AT&T has got a mandate to deploy this nationwide, not just in urban areas, not just on their majorly used cell towers, but everywhere AT&T has coverage and to expand everywhere that cellular is practical. And they've you know, got a, a substantial budget to do this. So AT&T made it clear this week that they're taking advantage of this mandate to go climb every single cell tower and upgrade it for FirstNet to also upgrade all of these cell towers with all of AT&T's other LTE bands. So towers that were in rural areas or in little used areas that might not have been scheduled for upgrades for years and years and years are all going to be getting upgraded in the relatively near future. So that'll benefit people who both both first responders on FirstNet and all AT&T customers. And uh, AT&T CEO, CEO this past week said that uh, this is going to lead to an average doubling of speed across AT&T's network everywhere and 500 communities, um, metro areas and everything will be upgraded by the end of this year. So that's pretty exciting. Now, to get adva take advantage of FirstNet, to take advantage of this new 20 megahertz spectrum, um, does require devices that are LTE Band 14 compatible. And since this is a new standard, it has just been approved, there are very, very few Band 14 compatible devices. Um, the Netgear Nighthawk hotspot is the first hotspot that has LTE Band 14 support in it. So, um, but only, there's a kind of a soft revision, only ones manufactured basically since March and April 2018, so it's brand new, only the newest ones made. And they'll actually have a little B14 sticker on the back underneath the battery chamber if you've got one that's compatible or you can make sure you order it that way if you want to be able to take advantage of that future spectrum. The Samsung Galaxy S9 is one of the very first Band 14 compatible phones and then going forward there'll be more and more and more devices that are Band 14 compatible. But the important thing to remember is even if you don't have Band 14 compatible gear, um, AT&T is taking advantage of this first net mandate to upgrade all of their towers. So even if you have other older, different AT&T gear, it will be able to take advantage of all this upgraded performance and speed um, that is coming. So this is pretty exciting development for AT&T customers. A nice side effect of the first net deployment happening. Um, Verizon is doing something similar. They just don't have the the federal mandate to do first net, but they are doing upgrading their network to provide public safety features and things like that. Um, and, of course, T-Mobile is in the middle of a massive network upgrade as well. So things are getting better for, uh, for everyone in the, the cellular world, and a lot of network upgrades are, are coming our way.